Hey guys, Matt with the Feral Photographer. Um, I haven't done an update in probably since last week, so I'm going to do a quick one. Um, good news, Bubs, if you guys saw the video I just posted earlier, the two videos ago, um, Bubs made his way to um, his final rescue. He will be staying at a kind of sanctuary for senior cats. Uh, the the rescue is called Silver Whiskers Feline Rescue. It's here locally in Las Vegas. Um, it's run by a great couple. Uh, they're friends of ours. We've actually fostered cats for them. Uh, we fostered Diddy, who passed away for almost three years, um, and his sister Cassie, who we still have. Um, so that's really good news. He's he's doing really good. He had all his teeth extracted. Um, they were able to raise money and cover it. And um, uh, I posted a video, Bubs is home. So if you can see that a couple videos back. Um, if you guys want to donate to the rescue that's taking care of him, um, I'm sure they could use it. They, they have a lot of cats um, and they always need help. So I put their information at the end of that video. Um, other than that, uh, there's t uh, TNR news for the neighborhood. Um, I will be... Um, this coming week, not not this weekend, but this, this coming following week. Um, I don't know what days, but I'm going to try and go out a couple days, um, get the traps down near the colony. Um, and there's several more cats down there that need to be trapped uh, that haven't been fixed. So we're going to try and get them TNR'd, um, and then we'll get them back out there. Um, I posted a video this morning, a Serengeti hunt with the little uh, calico that we trapped few weeks ago got her TNR'd got her spayed got her released back down there she's doing fine um, I think in this video she actually eats a praying mantis which I didn't realize that's what she was uh, she was chasing and, and she eventually ate it but I didn't realize that's what it was I kind of like praying mantis but uh, I thought it was like some I don't know a moth or a bug or something but um, so she's doing good um, what other cats did we did we release? Um, Ollie's doing good. I saw Ollie the other day. He's uh, uh, the, our friend, the, the lady that lives down near the colony that's kind of feeding all the colony cats now, and, and they're hanging out at her house. She's across the street from the old caregiver that passed away. Uh, that house is being remodeled and put up for sale. So the cats really don't hang out there anymore. They've all, they still go behind that house to the other street on the hill where the feeders feed at night but the rest of the time they they go back and they go to uh, our friend's house down there and she's got misters set up on her front patio area for them um, there are water bowls all over the place you know big big water dishes so they've got access to water during you know the heat of the summer um, you know she has crunchies out all the time she feeds it uh, you know I think she feeds soft food at night um, so they're all doing good um, I did see one of uh, Bubs's old buddies, the, the female black cat with kind of medium hair, and she was just sitting on a wall by herself, and I felt kind of bad. I, I went down there last night, so I um, felt kind of bad for her because, you know, she's used to hanging out with her buddy. Um, I'll keep an eye on that cat. There's also another black tuxedo cat that looks kind of like uh, Bubs, except it doesn't have white on the lip or the the bottom lip it's just got white on its throat and a little patch on its neck um, I'll try and keep an eye on that cat if that cat looks like it's not doing good then maybe we'll intervene and try and help that one too um, so uh, there's some other stuff going on with another cat and hopefully that'll be dealt with soon um, I'll, I'll talk about it later on but um, you know, the cat's fine cats the cat's doing good um, as far as that, uh, I saw the kittens down the street the, uh, the other night, a couple nights ago. Um, I've actually got some video of them. I'm debating whether or not to uh, you know, put it into a video. Um, I've got to get down there and I've got to do some trapping. It just, it, it really kills me to go out there all night. So, um, you know, I did get, I did finally get down to the pharmacy to pick up my uh, prescription, a different, one of my inhalers. Uh, it's the one that kind of really, really helps a lot. So I was able to get down there and get it. Uh, what else? What else is going on as far as cats? Um, nothing. 
you know, I think other than, uh, you know, Bub's getting to his new home, which uh, makes us really happy, really happy for him. I mean, that old guy, he turned out to be a total love bug, too. So we're out there trapping every night. We're out there using drop traps. He's just, you know, he just didn't care about any of that. He was too smart for it. And, you know, Joe Hamrock comes in 30 seconds after he put some cat food down. He had him in a cat carrier. So go figure. Um, but I guess that the first time when I tried to scruff him, um, that, that might have put him off to me. So, but Joe was able to get him. So thank God. That was Binks, by the way. Um, happy uh, International Black Cat Day from Binks. Um, so that's about it. I'm going to keep doing the videos, keep pushing them out there. I'll keep doing some uh, shorts too. Um, I've got to get some new shorts. I, I had a bunch of them on there. They were just our cats, like sleeping and sitting there. I'll try and get some better ones at the ferals so you can have some shorts with the ferals in them too. Um, and I've got Gizmo coming to beg for more food right now. It's feeding time. I just fed all the cats. And I usually have to feed her three times, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. You know, she's 20. She has no teeth. So um, it looks like she's going to come up here. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much all the news. Um, it's August. Uh, I still haven't started interviewing people and doing inter interview videos with people uh, here in the local cat community going to try and work on that before the end of the year and get that going. I just don't have a room to do it. I don't have a place to sit down and do it. Um, here's Gizmo. Uh, but I'm going to try and do that. I'm also going to try and get out with some other people that feed colonies so I can film some other feral colonies for you guys and, and get those videos out there. Um, you know, we don't drive, so we don't even have transportation. So like, the only time we really leave the house um, she's actually out volunteering right now uh, she she volunteers with a local rescue um, is uh, you know like if I push myself to walk down to the pharmacy to pick up meds or um, you know that kind of thing but oh, here's Googie hi go but um, so yeah it's it's kind of hard and the people that are feeding colonies that we know that we're, you know, friends with, they kind of live far from us. So it's kind of, you know, it's kind of one of those things driving all the way over here to pick me and my camera equipment up and go out and film. And then after they're done, which is usually, you know, a couple hours every night, they have to feed different colonies, um, you know, then to drive all the way back across town. So I'll try and get it arranged. I'll try and do it. You know, I know I've been talking about it for a while, so Hopefully we do that soon. Um, I'm going to have to get her fed again because she gets kind of, she gets weird. She'll start licking your feet. She'll sit there and stare at you. And she doesn't stop. Like I can watch an entire movie and she'll sit right there and just stare at me if she wants her food. Um, and then she'll start licking my toes. Yeah, she's just kind of weird. She's a weird old cat. But I uh, love you a lot. But that's pretty much all the news. I'll get your food here in a second. Go, come on. That's pretty much all the news. I just wanted to, to touch bases and drop in real quick. Um, I'm here alone, so I'm watching, uh, uh, just finished watching the Hobbit trilogy and the Lord of the Rings. I'm on Return of the King Extended Edition. So that's what I'm doing in my alone time today. She's going to be spending the night doing stuff with the rescue, so... Um, it's just me and the cats tonight. I might actually go out and film later tonight. I might do that. Um, but other than that, that's all the news I got for you. Um, there was something else, and now I can't remember what it was, but I'm sure I'll think of it later, and I can probably do an, uh, you know, a short video and let you know when I remember. So until next time, do something kind for cats. Uh, where are we? We are, I'm looking at YouTube right now. Um, let me see here real quick. Uh, we are at, uh, here it is. We are at 1,550 some odd subscribers. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. So appreciated. We're slowly growing, but you know, I guess, I guess that's how it goes. It goes slow, but progress, it's all progress. So, 
Um, you know, if you if you have friends that are into cats, let them know about the channel. Let them know because I'd like to uh, start doing some more videos soon um, on spaying and neuter and TNR and keeping your cats indoors and not having outdoor cats and all that kind of stuff. So I'll be doing some more of those videos soon. But until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome night.